Hi, Hannah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. No, yeah. nice to speak to you. Yeah, it's lovely to speak to you too. Thank you. Um, let's get started. Was writing this lament cathartic for you or did it feel kind of urgent? Um, I don't know if it felt cathartic, but it felt urgent and it felt um, it felt important to 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 talk about Sheku and to look for his humanity and who he was, which felt lost in a lot of the reading and a lot of the ways in which um, he was portrayed to me through the media and through what I, you know, I I wanted to to lament this man that was so greatly loved. You know, I was inspired by that idea of the kind of the public lamenter, the public keener, who's who comes in and 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 you know that 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 sings for the unknown soldier, sings for the fallen, and but it's a position of always being removed from that. There's always a, a step away, um, and it is about seeing Sheikh Bayo as a as a full human being who is deeply loved and considering and imagining what that loss might be for all of us, but also what the way in which he was spoken about and the way in which I read about that, that's those utterances around him and what that did for me and what that feels like for me and people like me and what that says about this country and about the way in which we value and the way in which we talk about um, black and brown bodies and the way we talk about it. and so for me it was it was a it was it was all of that but all of that was always as an observer and a non-looker. How has it felt kind of having the responsibility to hold the story of a real family's tragedy and how have you coped with that and has it altered your process as as a writer, as a poet, as a creator? I think um you know, in terms of the way I've navigated this, as I was saying earlier, is I am, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at this from a position of a of a of a, a witness of a of an observer of the story. So I have a removed position, and I think that's important because I'm, I'm not, I'm not writing the family story. I'm writing the story of. The person observing this, and particularly the person observing this as a person of colour and as a Scottish person of colour observing the story, and what and what the observing or what the the watching of this unfold means to me and to people like me, but also what questions that raises for all of us. The cast is amazing. I yeah, I was looking at them all and I think they're all great. And the production the production team and the artists you're working with are all women. Um was this intentional or was that an accident? And I know the process is kind of closer to the beginning, but are you excited about working with a team of women in this kind of space? Well, I mean, I think when when I was writing the lament. I wrote it for three, three women. So um, it feels um, good to have a team of women around it and supporting it. But yeah, I mean, it's very much, we've got the same cast, um, Patricia and Saskia and Courtney that were there in the rehearsed readings and have been there from the beginning with this piece. So it, it feels that we're, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a collaborative. It feels like we're all, we've all been working with it you know since we did it last year and so it feels important that we're all coming back together again if there's one thing you would want audience to take away from this work what would it be you know when i started writing this a year ago and i told people i was writing a lament for sheku bayou the most common reaction i would get was sheku who who is that? I've never heard of that. 
So if they walk away, if people who come to see this just say his name, yeah. then that for me, that would be what a lament, that would be the, the, the purpose of the lament is that we, that we say his name and we, we mourn him yeah. as a young man who, and as a father who does, who know, who's no longer here. Um, and if there's questions raised for people, then then I hope they have the the energy from this that they have the the passion and the energy to go and follow those questions through, to 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 seek the answers, to demand the answers to those questions that they may have. Um, and I think that's all I can ask, um, and all I can hope.